another day. I have messages. Hey. I got a call from Miss Miranda. Apparently, she's upset that we messed up her basement. I mean, whatever, though. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day, and I'm just saying, if you want to stop by and say hello, I am here to be hello at. Hey, Boyle. I'm at work all day. Very, very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon's more like it than the Snack Falcon, am I right? <laughs> I guess they want me to visit. I wonder if Dad has moved things yet. Ugh, he's still there. Uh, maybe another night. I wonder if you can learn to talk to birds. Hmm. Good oh, morning. Long night. Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh, are you going to work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. Though I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Huh. Hmm. It's just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Uh, have a nice day. Well, Mom, are you sure you don't want to talk about it? Numbers, numbers, numbers. Really? Oh, good luck, Mom. <laughs> Up we go. May Borowski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some dusk stars? <laughs> Definitely. Come have a look. Ah, my eyes! Why? Why don't you warn me? A filter! You'll need to use the filter, remember me, Barovsky. Ah. <sighs> Alright, hunting for dusk stars. Ooh. Not stardust, dusk stars. I found one! I found one! Found one! Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. Huh, these are all gonna be bummers, huh? Uh, that is not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day, his king met a new sage, 
an astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer had told the king a different story about the stars. Um, did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? Ugh. No, they're not. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh... Isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king? Like in order to survive? <laughs> it's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. I found one! Let's see. Ah, yes. Simone the Fighter. She got a gun. Simone believed in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land, those roots took hold and choked out all else. <laughs> that was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary of my phone now. Oh. We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified. But she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her crew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. <laughs> now that's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism. But she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things. So, sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like numbers. <laughs> we do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, God damn it! I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates. And behind those gates were cannons. Oh no! Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others. It was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. <laughs> Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. Well, that's both of them for today. <laughs> Neato. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again, couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs>
whole rapport now. Come on, you've known me for years. I jump on your porch. I don't break your jack-o'-lanterns. I'm a delight. Totally, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? And off the top of my head? Um... Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Um... That was, like, oddly specific. I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. Like, that we used to eat in grade school. All right. Yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Uh, nope. I want to hear a new poem? Uh, yeah, sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. I juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. <laughs> Jeez, those are all, like, all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chasikov's up there again. Oh, really? I mean, I did just visit him, but... Um, he's gonna fall right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. Did you know that? I seen a fire up by there the other night. I wonder who was up there. Huh, interesting. I must steal pretzels for my rat babies. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. I just can't move when they're looking at me. Like a dinosaur. Vision based on movement. I just want some pretzels. <laughs> this is unfairly easy now. It's Miss Rosa. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones, so wherever I go. So no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh, yes. Where was I? Mm, something about a tide rolling out. What? what? Uh. Oh, right. That was a metaphor. <laughs> I, I figured. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies. The Grand Bears. The Lodge of Old... The Church and the Union. There be dances up at the HP. That's where I met your granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising, I guess, is the word. Hmm. What did your daddy say about him? Strict but nice. <laughs> Straight this funny. Why? You all right, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. 
I hope you feel better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Wife long gone. Kids don't care. Tunnelfish are always there. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, God. Please don't listen. Let's visit Mom. Well, he's very nice, but... Yeah, and he can be like the first. He could be a trial run. Where would you like to put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library. With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the next town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. How's things? Uh, okay. Weird dreams. Do you want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours. And it was cozy. So I could take a nap. Guilt free. You feel guilty about naps? I wish I didn't. Ah, uh, so how's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's going fine. Hey, Mom. I can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, well. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, son. But a little bit more passengers, but mom, please. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. Okay. Bye. Let's go check on Bruce. He's okay. Oh, Bruce. Hey. I seen a fire through the trees last night. We passed these woods here. Weird noises. I just keep to myself. And then they went away. Oh, that sounds spooky. But where? Right over there. Past the water tower. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. And let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. 
I wonder if they'll be back? I hope not. Mm. Take care, Bruce. My little miracle rats birthed by Mallard. It's time to eat. Have yourself a pretzel. Oh, there's more of you. There's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore. And you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. <laughs> Goodbye for now, Mallard. I'll see you again, my little rat babies. Mm, hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Mm, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. I it's okay. Ha! <laughs> Jeez! Let me answer you before you decide I said no. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Did you want to go? Sure. Oh, good. Yeah. It'll be fun. Let's rock. Wow. It's been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. I got the longest night lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my street does that, too. We got pumpkins last year, and we left them out too long. And they, like, liquefied. <laughs> Gross. But, like, actually, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of them, and he had to, like... Mop it up. <laughs> I've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. <laughs> We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. I come out here at night sometimes. And I fall asleep between the tracks. Uh, well that sounds dangerous, but, uh, but why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited that you actually go to sleep? Well, yeah, coffee makes me sleepy. <laughs> Wuss. Heh, <laughs> guilty. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's like for an hour. Uh, 
<laughs> That's some risky business there. Watch your feet. <laughs> yeah. Living on the edge. I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go sleep in the woods. Or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. And only come out at night. And then I'll be like a monster. And like, beautiful. Hmm. Those are like, really attainable dreams though. Not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross, though. <laughs> Way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Legs in. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Wow! He represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay, okay. Let's roll. I'll see ya. <laughs> Doom. I could stop into the video outpost too. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Oh, it's good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. I got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Um, Scythe Sabbath or Black Oaks. Black Oaks. Oh, nice. Witchy. Yeah, it's witchy as hell. And scary. Yeah, that one's like... Historical. The witchy version. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, hey. Uh, CJ? Ja? You were like... In high school, when I was in middle school. Oh. Ha. Huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell. Across the street from my house. Ha <laughs> ha. Nerd games. Well, that's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah. Just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like... Pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. My husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? I'm a lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity. But yeah, sure. Hmm, what's the best way to rob a bank, or what's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall, or like, attack a guard, and then and, and take their pants and identity? Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. 
what's the best prison game? Like, if you had to pick. Uh, you know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. Okay, so what is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Uh, laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Uh, I'm sorry. Welcome back, CJ, and have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Sunny again, thank goodness. What's got you down? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, go smelters, right? <laughs> yeah, go smelters. They love talking about the smelters. Classic Possum Springs. They don't see the teens today. It's a shame about all this graffiti, though. the heart of hometown since 1972 yet it's not here i can't walk to the food donkey anymore my groceries i must be driven oh hey germ hey do you want to hang out i don't know i'm i'm supposed to hang out with either greg or b tonight Jeez, i'm not asking you to run away and get married to me um yes let's hang out what do you want to do? Follow me. We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walk for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see, like, all of the sky here. Oh. Wow. You can. Huh. Okay, so seriously, we're just looking at a parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes? But sometimes in the morning, if you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots. It's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Hmm. I wish it was railroads and I wouldn't have to drive to the new market, but... Jobs, that's what they say, but it's probably stores. I mean, there was the food donkey and the old second hand store and the shoe store. I mean, there used to be a record store back here somewhere. It's all gone now, though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds. And broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. Hmm. You know, if they never do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is gonna be like regular ground. Wow. What are you saying is going to happen to the parking lot? I mean, the parking lot part of the parking lot. Nature's old. It waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey! So, I've been having... I have to go now. Uh, bye! Hmm. 
germ in the parking lot. Ugh, this town feels like suffering sometimes. Oh, let's say hi to Greg. Hey, hey, hey! Hi! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something! Okay, wow! Uh, did you drink, like, all the coffee? Or did you have, like, a near-death experience or something? You drank all the coffee, didn't you? I can't have coffee! It makes me anxious! <sighs> wow, that sucks. And it tastes gross! Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. It seems like a lot of hassle. Uh, to make something gross, tastes okay. Good point. So, do, do, do. Do you want to do something, 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 something? Do you want to do something? Uh, I can't today, dude. Oh man. That's cool. here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? It's trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees, plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. Uh, I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally. Make me a coffin, using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. <laughs> Jeez, that got intense. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Hmm. Fine. So are we doing this? Uh, yeah. Let's hang out. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Do you want to come? Sure. Well, are you ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit. There's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. Dinner at Beast.